Hello everyone, we just finished the review of all of the basic features I wanted you to know so that you could get better at using Excel quickly, right? We talked about deleting, we talked about merging, we talked about formats, so many fun topics. Now we're going to the new features of Excel. One of the greatest new features of Excel that they've added is called Flash Fill. Really, when I tried it for the first time, it blew my mind, and I hope that it will blow yours, because such an amazing feature, how did they even invent it? Honestly, I think it's because Microsoft is honestly trying to make the user experience of Excel more friendly for the people that are trying to use it. And one of these new features is called Flash Fail. Let's get to Excel so that we can check it out. Remember that the files are on the website jameswithh.com slash finance you'll be able to find this file uh, and uh, you'll be able to follow as I go so here if you look this is a situation that happens quite a bit in Excel I've got a list of names but they're not separate they're together and I'm trying to separate them so this seems like a difficult task right am I gonna have to retype all of them well if you don't know how to do it yeah you're gonna have to type all of them right but but where it becomes quite fascinating is that now in Excel they've added a new button called flash fill before to do this you had to use text to columns just to quickly show you right you had to select all of your names then once the names were selected you had to go under page layout right uh, sorry under data and under data there's the text to columns button and the text to columns button if you click it it's going to ask you how you want to separate so right now it's delimited but delimited by a space so I remove tab and I say space as my delimiter and as I hit finish you see it's going to separate them that's really good that it separated them for me but it's a bit of a hassle to do look at how easy it is now thanks to flash fill you simply hit chin here because that's his first name and then you hit control E and control E is flash fill and it does all the rest what is that really possible yeah it is it's amazing actually here it's Kane his last name and I hit control E it fills it but what if I wanted it in all caps could I just type Kane in all caps and look it does it all and I don't even have to ask questions at, th at this point it just produces the changes itself Excel how does it do it right it's so impressive flash fill that not only does it separate? It also combines. So maybe I had these sep this name Chin Kane. They were all you know sif different people. One's a doctor. One's a Mister. One's a Masters. One's a Misses. Right. So they all have these different acronyms. And I'd like to create like the acronym Doctor Kane, Doc Miss Aura, Mass Bald. You know. And I only had the prefix and the names. But now I separated it thanks to Flashfill, Flashfill, and I'll put them together thanks to Flashfill. Check this out. I type. Dr. Dot Kane, and you're thinking, no, this can't possibly work. You hit enter, and it does nothing, but you remember the shortcut, control E. And what is this? How is this even possible? How did Excel create a list of the acronyms and the names all together thanks to Flashville? This is something crazy. How did this even happen, right? New 2016 feature, Flashville changes the game when it comes to separating and combining columns from the pre already created columns. Well done Microsoft for making an AI smart enough to figure out what we want to do without actually having to create a long and complicated function. That to me is one of the most amazing features Excel has to offer. You know it's so crazy you can do whatever you want. You see here I've got ratings. Maybe I wanted to put first name and rating. So you see I type chin and I put the rating. I go down, I hit control E and it creates all of the the names in the ratings you see it even creates a title column which is the title columns of both of them what else do you want right what else do you want what a great feature here I'm gonna go to the exercise on data tools and I want to show you some of the places where you can use it here so first of all you'll notice that the columns are all a bit chaotic and they're all they don't show very well these are the supreme judges of Canada the list of them the real one right and let's say I've got this nice list of of names here right and I've got uh, the names of the people, their birth dates, and I wanted to figure out only their birth dates. I'm not interested in having all of uh, this information here, right? I don't want the end date. So I'm going to add a column here. I'm going to call it birth, right? Date. And I'm going to want to create it. Normally, you'd have to do this fancy function that figure out where is the bracket. It's a mess. Now, with Flash Field, can I just type 28 like this and then hit Control E? <gasps> No, it did. Look, it worked. And eventually here, 
we can see that something happened. What happened? It's because these people are living, so they use the acronym B in front. What could I do so that that doesn't happen? Well, simply select my whole column and remember to replace tool, right? The replace tool lets me replace everything. So what I'll do is I'll hit Control H, which is the shortcut for the replace tool, and I'll tap B dot space, B dot space, and I'll re replace it by nothing. So I input nothing and replace all. And then I hit replace all, and you'll notice that it will say we've made 24 replacements. That means that there was 24 present, right? And they're all fixed. And I've created all of the birth dates for everybody. What? Yeah. And then with this, I'd be able to figure out how, how you know, how old they are if they would all be living now. But I was able to separate it from the birth, making me be able to create a fancy column to do some more math to. It's important sometimes in Excel to separate columns because if you don't, you end up for, you, you end up being able to limit your analysis a lot. So here, this is one example of how I could use in a certain exact concrete setting, flash fill, to give myself a new piece of information, which was impossible to attain without it. Well, it was possible, but not as easy. So I hope you like this part about Flashfill. It's a great data tool. It really changes the game when it comes to using Excel. I love it, right? So as we're done here, Flashfill is done, right? But we're not going to put a check mark to this one. We loved it so much. We're going to put a heart, right? My best heart here. And it's wonderful. Hopefully you liked Flashfill.